Hi friends! Today I thought I would play in some mud. I'm making this garden here and I have all this good dirt dug up and I thought I'd add some water and play in the mud. There's so many things you can do in the mud. First make sure you have your old play clothes on so you don't get your good clothes dirty. And I'm going to pour some water in this dirt. and I'm going to save some to wash afterward. Okay, so what can we do first? Let's make a mud pie. I've got these old containers from my recycling box and I'm gonna make a mud pie. Get some old spoons and utensils from your kitchen. Let's see, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, mmm. Let's see, what could I add to my mud pie? Maybe some flowers. And some dandelions. Oh, I'm making, let's see, we'll pretend it's chocolate. I like chocolate. Look at that, yummy, and mix it up. Yum, yum, but you don't really eat it. And I could make a mud cake on this one. What do you think? How about a birthday cake? Oh, I'm gonna get my hands all messy and pack it down. And make a birthday cake. And what does a birthday cake need? Decorations and candles. So I'm going to add some more of my flowers for decorations. poke them in there and some of my dandelions this is going to be so pretty and of course I need candles I'm going to use this stick let's see how old are we going to make this cake for let's say a five a person turning five one two three, four, five. Oh, I have room for one more, so we're gonna go six. Six, oh look, there's a little ant on my cake. I guess he likes that. Happy birthday to you. Who wants to buy a birthday cake? Yummy, yummy birthday cake. Look, I'm gonna make a bake shop and sell my baked goods. Another thing you can do in the mud is make faces. So I've got this other container here. You can make people or faces or art. Use stones. Use, let's see, my nose is gonna be a dandelion. Whoop. And stones for a mouth. Oh, it's starting to rain. It's a nice warm spring rain. Look at that, I made a face. <laughs> Another fun thing to do in the mud is hide your toys, bury them in the mud, and then search for them like you're excavating for dinosaurs. And bury them, and then when you find them, you can take them inside and give them a bath in the sink. <laughs> Lots of things to do in the mud. Let's go inside and do some mud painting. Come on in my house. Now I'm back inside and I'm going to paint with mud. So you can either use mud or dirt from your backyard or purchased garden soil. Any kind of dirt will do. And I'm going to put some in a little plastic bowl that I have here. and add some water and make mud. I'm gonna break it up, break up the clumps first. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Look at this. Mix it up, I'm making mud soup or mud pie. That's another fun thing to do with dirt is pretend that you're baking and you can decorate it. We'll do that another time.
Okay, so I'm squishing it all up and getting all the lumps out, and now I'm ready to paint. Got my paintbrush and my special finger paint paper, because it's nice and thick and it won't leak through. And I'm going to paint. What should I paint? Hmm. I might have added a little too much water. I think next time I'll add a little less water to it, but you can play with it and experiment and see how much water you want on yours. I'm going to try to make a dog. Let's see, how many legs does a dog have? Did you say four? One, two, three, four. And a tail. And how many ears does a dog have? Two, like us. <laughs> One, two. I made it too small to make his face on him, but I'm going to color him in. Look at that, painting with mud. I can't hold it up to show you because it needs to dry first, but maybe we can zoom in on that. There's my dog. What can you paint in the mud or do in the mud? Don't forget to ask an adult first and send me a picture. Bye.